Hey everybody, I had so much fun with your kids today in the Nutcracker Prep Clinic, and I just wanted to give you a little insight into what I talked to them about today. So a few little tips as they come into their auditions. I'm going to start with apparel. So what they should be wearing for female dancers, they should be wearing a black Leo, pink tights, and hair in a bun. It could be an ATD bun or a high classical bun. Either one is fine. And if they are auditioning in like a jazz style, they're welcome to put shorts or leggings or something over the top as long as they have that as the base and then for our gentlemen they should be in all blacks and when it comes to music most of them are bringing in their music on their phones which is absolutely fine what I reminded them is it's really important that their music is actually on their device so they don't have to be wi-fi connected um, because you never want in an audition for the wi-fi to go out or have a bad connection and delay when you're right in the middle of dancing so we definitely recommend trying to get something downloaded onto the device and then we also recommend for them that they put their phone on airplane mode when they come in so that again they don't get a phone call or a text or something during the middle of their audition they should also be able to plug directly into an aux cord so for some of them that means their device may may need um, a dongle or something to connect with. And then they should also make sure that their volume is turned up on their phone and that their passcode is not on. Um, so those are just good tips for auditions or anything where they're going to bring in music. So again, just to make sure that they can come in, hand the music device, plug in and play it for them. There should be no extra nonsense needed about getting to their music. Um, we talked them through what to expect when they get there. They're going to be um, scheduled into groups, so please make sure that your dancer is signed up online. We have a Nutcracker audition sign up. We'll be putting them into groups, and then we will email you to let you know what their audition time is. They'll be coming in. They walk in. They give a slate, which is an introduction, which we practiced with all of them that came to the clinic, so they should all have their slate ready to go. After that, they will give their 60 to 90 seconds audition combo, which again, we worked on today, gave them some tips and feedback, and then they will do their group combo. Uh, we also practiced that today as well, so they should be ready to roll on all of those things, and that's what the audition process will um, look like. And then what I wanted to share with you is just some words of wisdom that I shared with them, um, which is that I kind of just talked to them about what to expect out of auditions. I really want to encourage them that the audition process itself is a really amazing opportunity for education and growth for them. So what I said to them really pretty bluntly is if you feel like you are going to come into this audition and if you do not get the role that you are auditioning for, that you are going to be crushed and it is going to be soul changing, you should not audition. Because the reality is that most or many will not be cast in this part. They may not get any part at all. Every year, people don't get parts. And so if you feel like that is going to be something that is devastating to you emotionally, I don't want you to audition because I really want you to be happy and confident and loving. And I know that a lot of you are not going to be cast. And so if you're going in with that viewpoint that it is really going to be like so devastating if you don't get what you're auditioning for, it's probably not not a good time for you emotionally to put yourself into an audition. On the other hand, if you're going into the audition thinking to yourself, I know that I may not get this part, but the opportunity to put my best foot forward, to show what I've been working on, to, to have confidence to walk out there and to really challenge myself and be brave are all really valuable. And so I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go for it and I'm going to know that if I got the role, I earned it. And if I didn't, that's okay too, because I'm part of the process and I'm cheering on somebody else who did get the role. I told them it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be disappointed, but that at the end of the day, you need to realize that it does not mean that you're a bad dancer. It does not mean that you didn't work hard. It doesn't mean that we don't love and appreciate you. It just means that this wasn't your time. And I really hope in all of my dancers, and they'll hear me say it over and over again, that in their dance education, I absolutely want there to be times where they don't get the role and they don't get chosen because this is a safe space for them to experience that. They should still know that they're loved, still know that they're valued, still know that they are welcomed back into class the next day, still know that they are part of this production, and that's okay. 
And then I also hope that at some point that they do get the role, that they are the one that's chosen, that they're the one that's lifted up because I want every single one of them to have that level of success. And if it's not this year, I hope it's another year for them. But no matter what, I hope they know and feel that we value them for who they are, no matter what the outcome of these auditions are. So please help encourage your child to know that we really, really do feel strongly about that. Not just words coming out of my mouth. I really mean it. Getting up in front of a panel of people to audition, super scary, super intimidating. So just them going through that process is going to teach them so much about themselves, about being brave, about being confident. And every time that they audition, they get better and it gets easier. So it's not about getting the role every time you audition. It's about putting yourself into the circumstance to audition so that you get better every single time that you do it. So thank you for giving them that opportunity. Thank you for supporting them through that. If you have any questions about the audition process, feel free to let me know. They all did amazing. I was super impressed with how prepared all of them were. So I know it's going to be a hard job for all of us teachers figuring out where to put all these talented kids. But thank you again for sharing them and thank you for supporting them. And we can't wait to hit the road to the Nutcracker. See you soon.